What's up guys? Welcome to the next video in this tutorial series about how to build a website with Python. Now in the last video we looked at Django template inheritance and we actually created a second web page in our website. One that had two additional buttons which are deploy and recover. Today we're going to, going to connect the index page to the event page so when the user clicks on a button in the index page they'll be taken to the event page and we're actually going to pass some data from the index page to the event page and we're going to use uh, a post request to do that so in essence today we're going to be learning about how to pass data from one web page to another let's get right into it make sure you're in your python virtual environment and you're in your ship log directory and I want you to go into your event capture application. Go up, go down one more level into your templates folder, and let's take a look at our index.html file. So we have two buttons on this page, one for submarine, one for buoy. Um, the first thing we want to do to be able to make these buttons do something, because right now they don't do anything. When you click on them, nothing happens. We want to wrap them in a form which is a way to enable a button to uh, perform an action. So the action in this case is going to be we want to take the user to the event URL. And so that's just going to be our website slash event, which we demoed in our last tutorial video. After that, um, the method, like I mentioned, is going to be a post request. And let's give our form an ID, an identifier called system form and system meaning a submarine is a system and a buoy is a system so we don't forget let's close our form tag wrapping all of our buttons and our divs in it and we're gonna have to make a couple changes here um, instead of the button being of type button we actually want to change this to be a Sorry about that. We want to change this to be a submit of type submit. So that way when we click the button, it's going to submit the form. Um, we also want to add a name for the button, which is called system. And a value for this button is going to be sub for submarine. And we also want to specify what form we are referencing, and that's going to be the system form. Okay, now let's do something similar for the buoy button. So the type is going to be a submit. The name is also going to be system. The value is going to be buoy. And the form is also going to be system form. Okay, that looks pretty good except we missed an equal sign there. Okay, so the reason we have the same name for both buttons is because on the next page we want to know what system we clicked. So we have two different systems in this case, one's a submarine, one's a buoy. And by sharing the same name we're going to be able to pass one or the other, meaning we're going to be able to pass the value of sub when we click the submarine button or the value of buoy when we click the buoy button. So this looks good to me. Let's go ahead and save this. Oh, and actually one thing, um, I added a slash here, so I wanna go back into our URLs, which is up a level, and make sure we add that slash in here. And, you know, it can go either way. I, I like to always end a URL with a slash, um, just for consistency's sake. So let's go ahead and make that change and get out of that. And next we want to go into our views.py file and add a little bit of logic here that is going to pick up the post request that we just defined in our index. So let's see. So Django has a concept within a request called context. and context is basically just a dictionary of key value pairs. So what I like to always do is 
when we're going to be working with a context within a page, I always start off with the first line having context equals an empty dictionary. So go ahead and do that as well. And then the first thing we want to do is retrieve our system value from the request that we receive. So that's going to look something like this system equals request, which we're passing in to the event dot post. As you remember, we had the method being a post request get, and then the value is going to be the name that we gave each one of the buttons, which is system. The second argument here is going to be the value that you want to give the system, or I'm sorry, the second value of the get function is going to be the default value if you don't receive a system variable in your request. So if we make a request to the event page and we don't have a system post variable defined, then we're just going to set system equal to none. Okay, so now that we have a system variable with either the value of system from the form or none, let's add that to our context. So that's going to be easy. Context of system equals system. So we're just adding a key to our dictionary called system, and the value is going to be whatever the post request is. And in this simple, very simple case, system is either going to be equal to number one, buoy, number two, submarine, or number three, none. The final thing we want to do is pass as an argument, the third argument to our render as context. So in, a, in review, we define an empty dictionary called context. We retrieved our system variable from the post request, set it to the, the variable called system, and we added it to our context. And finally, rendered a request with the context that we defined above. So that all looks good. The one last thing we want to do is go into our event.html page and actually use the value that we just passed in from the index page. So that's a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, let's add a line up top. Let's make it a header one. And we'll say event for curly curly, close curly curly, and then system. So this syntax here, this curly curly, close curly curly, this allows you to index into your context dictionary. And if you remember, we just defined a key called system in our context dictionary, and the value is going to be whatever the user clicked on from the previous page. So that's, that's super powerful, and that's pretty much how you pass data from one page in a Django website to another. Let's go ahead and go to the root of our project and run our server. Open up our browser and go to localhost colon 8000. Let's click on submarine and this should now take us to the event page. Aha! You might not believe me, but I did this on purpose for a learning experience. They're saying here, CSRF verification failed, request abort it. Reason given for failure, CF CSRF token missing or incorrect. So the first time I tried to do a post request with Django, I ran into the same error. I had to do some Googling, not a problem, but I just wanted to demo it to you today. The reason this happens, and we're not going to get into it technically too much, is because every time you have a a form that does a post request, you're going to have to add this um, this extra tag into your form that prevents kind of malicious activity from happening when you submit your form. Like I said, we're not going to get into the details, but I just want you to remember to add this tag. So let's go back into our event capture templates and open up our index file, index.html file. And here is what I'm talking about. You have to add this extra, uh, what is it, C 
SRF underscore token tag. And that way you will avoid that error message popping up. So let's go ahead and save that back out of here for two levels and then run our server again. So let's go back to the main page, click on submarine again, and lo and behold, we have our header up top here and it says event for sub. That's exactly what we expected to happen because if you remember in here, well, I'm not gonna show you if you remember, we had the, the value of the button for submarine called sub. Let's go back and try buoy, event for buoy, perfect. The only other thing I want to try is to navigate to that page without clicking on a button. So if you just go to here up in the address bar and go to localhost 8000 event, we get the default, which was none, event for none. So I hope you guys understand now how to basically send data from one HTML page to the next using a post request in Django. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. I'll see you next time.